Among those living in exile, there's new fear. This is the darkest age of Hong Kong I've, I've ever seen. Former Hong Kong radio personality Edmund Wan is a prominent voice for democracy. After nearly a year in a Hong Kong jail for sedition, Wan is seeking asylum in Canada. But uh, if under the so-called uh, Article 23, the new national law, I'm damn sure that uh, I will be put in prison for uh, at least two to three years. Article 23 was passed unanimously in Hong Kong's legislature. The new national security law championed by Beijing allows for stiffer prison terms for crimes like treason, insurrection and espionage and allows for punishment of Hong Kong dissenters no matter where they live. Leaders say the law is needed to restore stability after a series of huge democracy protests. Activists argue it's too broad. Freedom of speech is not applied to you anymore, even though you are no longer in Hong Kong or in China. Ottawa has expressed deep concern about Article 23. In a statement to CBC News, the Chinese embassy says, we strongly deplore and firmly oppose individual countries and organizations slandering the safeguarding national security bill of Hong Kong. I don't think the people are fixing to stir up trouble, to have turmoil. I don't think so. So Beijing must extend an olive branch to the Hong Kong public. In the meantime, Wan vows to continue his fight from afar. I will still be speak for the truth. I will still voice out for the Hong Kong people that they are afraid to speak today. I will still speak of what I believe. For people like Wan living in exile, the worry is Hong Kong is no longer the liberal, westernized Hong Kong of the past. The new law, they say, is simply the next step to bring it more in line with mainland China. Belle Peary, CBC News, Vancouver.